Hi, welcome to the straight lines. In this short session, uh, I'm gonna teach you something related to horizontal and vertical lines. Or oh, this is always a confusion. So what I'm doing, I'm plotting uh, x axis and y axis for you. So this is x axis. Everyone knows that its equation is y is equal to zero. And for y axis, the equation is x is equal to zero. So what are the positions for the lines which are parallel to the x-axis and y-axis? So we call them horizontal lines and vertical lines. So I'm going to take you to horizontal lines and vertical lines. Horizontal lines. So these lines are parallel to x-axis. So obviously, the slopes of both the lines will be equal. So, if I assume that there is a line passing through the point x1, y1 and it is parallel to x-axis. So, so its equation using one point form will be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. But what is m? Since both the lines are parallel, that is this line is parallel to the x-axis, their slopes will be equal. Therefore, the slope of this line will be 0. And hence, the equation will turn to y minus y1 is equal to 0. And ultimately, it is y minus y1. So, there is no need to derive this. You can straight away write the answer with the equation or using the equation y equals y1. That is, if they give you a question, find the equation of the line passing through say minus 5 comma 8 and parallel to x-axis then straight away you write because the line is parallel to the x-axis therefore its equation is simply y equals y1 because the line is parallel to the x-axis and hence its equation is simply y equals 8. Now I'm gonna take you to vertical lines. So, vertical lines are perpendicular to the x-axis, that is, they are parallel to the y-axis. So, we all know that slope of y-axis is infinity, 1090, which is infinity. So, how can we find the equation for the vertical lines? Just for the sake of understanding, assuming that the line is passing through x1 comma y1 and uh, it is parallel to y-axis so its equation will be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 but what is m m is infinity because this time the line is parallel to the y-axis that's why vertical line so what we assume it is simply not good to put infinity here but still i'm putting for the sake of understanding and then we assume that we are shifting 0 to the other side. So we get x minus x1 is equal to 0. So this x is equal to x1 is the equation for the vertical lines. So if they give you a question, find the line passing through, say, 3 comma minus 2 and it is parallel to y-axis so the equation will simply be x is equal to 3 because all the lines which are parallel to the y-axis will be of the form x equals x1 and there is no need to give this kind of presentation so you can straight away write x is equal to x1 or x is equal to 3 for the given question so i hope that you got the idea and meaning of vertical and horizontal lines keep searching keep looking keep watching 
similar questions in our channel AVTE. Do subscribe and share. Thank you very much.